particular person that I have found. Her, she goes by Opus LNA. Got a great channel on costuming. Seems to like to do historical costuming, which is a lot of fun. That's what I love to do since I was a kid. Won't go into how long ago that was, but it was a while. I was watching one of Opus's shows and she was doing something that I'd never heard of, a thing called tablet weaving. And I, like I said, I'd never heard of it. I've dressed looms, floor looms, and things like that before, but this was a new one for me. And so there, I, she's building this beautiful apron dress, uh, Viking period apron dress, and it's um, it was gorgeous. And then she was going to do some detailed trim on it. So you don't just go buy that stuff. So uh, she was there weaving it away, and wow, that's pretty cool. But I noticed that she's using this shuttle. One of the ears, these little devices, was broken off. So I thought, well, that'd be fun thing to to fix for her. We're gonna work off this flat side of the bone. So I'm gonna use a straight edge and uh, just give me a, uh, kind of a guideline here. Easily drift without that, uh, actually. There. Slight adjustment, I had it over too far. It's gonna lose some of this lovely material. Drawing a straight line is one thing. Following it <laughs> requires glasses. So we ready to launch this monster? <laughs> There's nothing like the smell of uh, bone dust. Bone dust. <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> no, not really. I have a little... Uh, idea sketched on this paper that I'm going to use. And we ended up with all this nice pinning material. I can carve these, cut these more and, and carve them around and use them for inlay and pins and stuff. And it's really a nice piece of bone. I'm satisfied with it. So it's good. The big band saw is good for slabbing out chunks like this, but it's pretty rough cut. So any further bandsaw work will be done on this little one and right now I'm gonna lay out the design that I've got kind of sketched on here. First thing I do is I want to establish a center line and then for the radius I want to drill a hole here so I'm gonna figure out where I want to put that hole. That'll be my center mark and I'm gonna take one of my trusty dusty triangular pointed scrimshaw tools right on the crosshairs and drill me in a little pilot hole for my drill. The actual gap between the two ears is going to be fairly narrow to start and then swell out. Well, this is the, the working part of the, the shuttle. This is all, of course, going to be gone, so you wind your weft thread onto that and then this will shoot through the shed. Now comes the fun part. So I, on my sketch, I was playing around with several different ideas. Ideas. In New England, is we put ours in when they don't belong. And I kind of fell for that one. I like the, the, the swan or duck. So that's what I'm going with. This is it. Drawn on anyway. That shows up pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait. Now, yeah. this is the radius I was talking about down in here. And I could saw this all out on the bandsaw, but when you're kind of chipping around the corners down there, it never comes out perfectly smooth like you'd like it. And that can be taken care of with files and things, but I just think that it might be kind of handy to drill through it, make a nice smooth cut. So that's where we're going next. What I'm hoping to do is to drill through with this small drill, creating a pilot hole, and uh, that'll line me up from both sides because with the big drill, I'm gonna use a half inch drill to cut the actual radius. And I don't wanna drill all the way through because as you merge onto the, from the other side, generally it chips. Mm especially a, a dry bone like this. Antler and horn, you might get away with it, but I want to be able to drill from both sides and meet in the middle. So this is what I'm going to do. Oh, 
there's my half inch. It's the size. Let me know when you're ready. I'll just keep drinking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 la <laughs> I did that when I was working at, the, in, when I was in the army, I SD'd up at the wood shop and I made that back then. It's a cutting board. Oh yeah? You cool. flip it over and cool. it's a cutting board. Okay. Yeah, it was a nice big thick piece of mahogany. Oh, I'll hear that. See the shavings come off. the band song. <laughs> this is actually a form of scrim shanding, scrimshaw, not all just scratching on bone. So now we're gonna move into the den. like button spread us around thanks on this I mean, you saw it go from bone to to finished product I'm hoping that opus likes it and uses it and has a lot of fun uh, making her tablet weaving with her new shuttle <laughs> uh, and that's how it came out well thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button thank you bye bye